Hey there, Mr. Weaver here, and this is 8th grade module 3, lesson 4, write and solve multi-step equations. After this lesson, you need to be able to write and solve multi-step linear equations with rational coefficients by using the distributive property and combining like terms. Let's learn, write and solve multi-step equations. You can represent many real-world problems using multi-step equations. For example, four friends bought zoo tickets and spent $9.50 each on wristbands for the zoo rides. The same day, a group of five different friends bought zoo tickets and spent $3 each on the Stingray exhibit. The group of five friends also rented a locker for $8. If both groups spent the same amount of money, how much did each person pay for a zoo ticket? So going through this, we could figure out how much a ticket is based on the fact that both groups spent the same amount, meaning they are equal. So if we can write an expression for one of the groups and then write an expression for the other group, we can set them equal to each other and then solve for the price of a ticket. So if we're setting this up, the first group right here, there were a group of four friends. So that's the number of friends, four times the cost of a ticket and the wristband, which was 950. We can see down here, that the ticket N950 was purchased four times. So that's how we could write it using what looks like what we'll have to solve with the distributed property. We had four groups of the same thing. Is the same as, that's our equal sign. And then our second group here, an $8 locker, they only rented one of them, plus five times the cost of a ticket and $3 for the stingrays. Again, there were five friends, so they had to buy five tickets and five Stingray passes. So we can write that down here, showing five friends bought a ticket and a $3 Stingray pass, plus the $8 for the locker that they just showed up once. Then if we wanted to solve for the price of a ticket, we could go through, distribute out, combine like terms, and we could figure out how much T was equal to. We didn't have to use the letter T here, but sometimes when we're solving problems in context, it makes more sense to use the variable standing for the letter of what we're buying so we can help keep track of what we're trying to figure out. In this case, it would be the ticket price. Example one, write and solve multi-step equations. Mrs. Hill is designing a rectangular vegetable garden for her backyard. The width of the garden is 11 and a half feet shorter than twice its length. If the perimeter of the garden is 37 feet, what is the length of the garden? write and solve an equation, and check your solution. So let's break this up into our different things that we have to do. So first, let's write our equation. Let's let L, and we'll use this little curly L so it doesn't look like a one, that will represent the length in feet of the garden. The width of the garden is twice the length minus 11 and a half feet. Since it says up here, the width of the garden is 11 and a half feet shorter than twice its length. So two times the length minus 11 and a half, that's gonna be representing the width of the garden. And we need to use both of those things since we're dealing with the perimeter. It tells us the perimeter is 37. So if we're thinking about the perimeter, P, if we have a rectangle, we have a length and a length, and then a width and a width. So we have two lengths and two widths, which we have our perimeter is two lengths plus two widths. And based on what we're knowing in this problem, we know that the perimeter is 37. And we just showed up here that the expression 2L minus 11 and a half is the width. So instead of the width, let's plug in 2L minus 11 and a half. Now let's solve the equation for L. So we have 37 equals 2L plus two times the quantity 2L minus 11 and a half. If we're solving for L, first we gotta distribute to get rid of those parentheses. So two times two L is four L. Two times 11 and a half is 23. So I end up with four L minus 23. Two L plus four L is six L. So 37 equals six L minus 23. If I add 23 to both sides, they make zero on the right. So 37 plus 23 is 60. Then I can divide both sides by six since the coefficient in front of L was six. L by itself is going to be equal to 10. So the length of the garden is 10 feet. Last, let's check our solution. We said the length was 10 feet. So the width would be twice that. So 2 times 10 is 20. 
take away 11 and a half. The width must be eight and a half feet. We were told the perimeter was 37 feet. So if we test this out with a length of 10 feet and a width of eight and a half, we get two times 10 is 20. Two times eight and a half is 17. 20 plus 17 is 37, which is what we should have got for the perimeter. So that's how we can check here to see if in fact we got the perimeter that we were told, 37. And we did, so we must have found the correct length and the correct width. Check your understanding. Read through the situation. First, in part A, pick any of the equations that apply that could be used to find the width of the hallway. And then B, what is the width of the hallway? Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. First, those three you should have checked off. Let's look and see how we can figure that out. So the length of the hallway is a half a foot longer than twice the width. So the length is half of a foot longer than twice the width. Then it tells us that the perimeter of the hallway is 31 feet. So remember, perimeter, which is 31, is going to be equal to twice the length and twice the width, since we're finding the perimeter of a rectangle. If we know the length is this, then 31 must be equal to twice that. So 2 times 1 half plus 2w, that was twice the length, and then also twice the width. That's the one that they show us down here, with it expanded out. If we distribute this out, we end up with 2 times 1 half is 1, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, so that's where we get the 1 plus 6 right there, so that one's okay. And then the last, if we were to combine these two together and we end up with 31 equals the 1 plus 6w, if we were to divide and factor out a 2 from both of these, we'd be back to 1 half plus 3w, which is shown here. But this last way, even though it's correct, might not necessarily make quite as much sense in context as the other two would. But it is still equivalent. Finally, part B, what's the width of the hallway? You should have found 5 feet. I'm going to say this equation here, that 31 equals 1 plus 6w. If you found that that was an equation you could use to find the width, that's the easiest one to solve for w. You would just subtract 1 from both sides. 30 is equal to 6w. Then divide by 6 to both sides. 30 divided by 6 is 5. So the width of the hallway was 5 feet. Example 2. Write and solve multi-step equations. Mr. Murphy's class of 20 students is going on a field trip to the Science Center. They will also watch the 3D movie. Mrs. Todd's class of 15 students is going on a field trip to the Art Museum and will take the audio tour. Admission to the Art Museum is two and a half times that of the Science Center's entry fee, as shown in the table. If the total cost is the same at both the Science Center and the Art Museum, what is the entry fee per student to the Science Center? Check your solution. So in the table, we're given the Science Center's fees and the Art Museum's fees. What we don't know is the entry fee of the Science Center. So let's put X for that. We could use a different letter, like maybe what you wanted to use E for entry fee or F something, but X works too. It also tells us that the 3D movie at the Science Center is $2.50 per student. For the Art Museum, we know the admission is two and a half times whatever the Science Museum is. And it tells us the audio tour was $1 per student. And the other thing we know that's not shown in the table, but it is told us in the question is the cost is the same at both. So these are equal. So let's write an equation. So we'll say X is the cost for the Science Center. Because each student is going to also see the 3D movie, then each student has to be X and $2.50. That way they can do both. For the art museum, they are going to get in, admission, and going on the audio tour. So it's admission and audio tour for them. To complete our equation, we need to then say how many students are going to have each. So for the science center, 20 students were going, and they were each getting admission plus the 3D movie. For the art museum, 15 students were going for the admission and the audio tour. And again, 
those things are equal. Now let's solve. So to solve, distribute 20 times x is 20x. 20 times $2.50 is $50. 15 times 2.5 is 37.5. 15 times 1 is 15. Now we can just solve for our variable. So subtracting 20 from both sides keeps this side positive, 17.5. We can subtract 15 from both sides. We end up with 35. Dividing both sides by 17 and a half, since that's the coefficient in front of x, I end up with x is equal to two. So what that means when we got our x equals two, the Science Center admission or entry fee was $2. So let's check our solution. Science Center, it should have been 20 times $2 plus 2.5, which comes out to a total of $90. And for the art museum, we had 15 times 2.5 times 2, right? Two and a half times the price. That ends up being 15 times 6, which is also $90. We were told they are the same price, which is what we just verified here. Check your understanding, read through the situation, and answer both parts. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. First, you should have said D would be our correct equation. If we're writing our equation, group of six friends went to the basketball. They bought X dollars for their tickets each and spent $8.50 each. So six friends have a ticket and snacks. Another group of four friends paid twice as much. So four friends paid twice as much. And those group of four friends spent six fifty each on sex. So that's where we get that there. Based on this, what's the cost of each ticket for the group of six friends? So we want to know this price of the ticket, which you should have found was $12.50. If we distribute this out, six times x is six x. Six times eight fifty ends up being fifty-one. Distributing out, four times two x is eight x. Four times 650 is 26. Subtract 26, we get 25. Subtract 6x, we get 2x. Two tickets was $25, so one ticket must be 1250.